Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. Sometimes people ask me, why are you not a priest in a traditional order or the SSBX? You seem to talk about these groups a lot. You seem to like the Latin Mass. Why aren't you a member of one of these groups? And the reason is, the clear reason is, most of the Catholic world is not in these groups. And bi biographically, autobiographically, my vocation and my faith and the fact that I'm a priest this day is not because I grew up in some traditional parish. It's because I grew up in the mainstream Darson Church. And I'm not saying here, oh yeah, the fact I came from the mainstream Darson Church is the reason I didn't know about traditional Catholic faith, and that's why I ended up being a diocesan seminary. No, not at all, because by the time I was midway through seminary, I got to know about the Latin Mass. I finished university in 2007, just the time of the motu proprio, and so all through seminary i knew about the latin mass i went to it the first time when i was 21 i think and i got to know more about these orders and these groups and i made a decision as i was going through seminary look i was reached by our lord jesus christ in a very ordinary and normal catholic parish and darson catholic school that's how almighty god reached out to me and drew him drew me to himself and I felt called to do exactly the same for exactly the same kind of person as I was when I was a teenager. And if you're a priest in the SSPX, FSSP, you are dealing with a congregation of perhaps a hundred on a Sunday. If you're in a huge SSPX chapel and maybe that's you with about five other priests dealing with this group of a hundred or maybe otherwise in the sspx you're traveling around to lots of little chapels where there's 10 people there on a sunday if you're in the darson structures you quite possibly will have a parish attendance over the sunday of a thousand maybe even two thousand and you've got a catchment of maybe 10,000 who occasionally come to your masses. You've got a school that maybe has a hundred children in it. You've got loads of other apostolic activities open up to you. Being a hospital chaplain, for instance, if you're a Darson priest, you can be a hospital chaplain in a hospital with maybe 1,500 beds, and you can have the privilege and the responsibility of going around to see all of the Catholics who turn up in the hospital to speak to them, to console them, to offer them the sacraments. It's an apostolate that is not open to these traditional orders. Their reach is small. And in my heart, I can't help but thinking that their reach is to many of the families who are already converted and are completely on board. And there's a need for priests to be supporting these families to help them to live out the Catholic faith 100% authentically. And I love those priests and I commend those priests. But I felt in my heart that my calling was not to that group, but it was to the mainstream. And that means, obviously, offering the new mass and the thing is i don't hate the new mass i like the new mass when it's offered reverently with devotion and actually there's a lot of people say it's a bad thing there's a lot of flexibility with the new mass and it's certainly true you can offer the new mass where every single day you have the i confess you have roman canon you have offertory prayers in silent using the old offertory prayers you can have long pause after holy communion for prayer you can try and encourage people to receive communion on the tongue exclusively you can set up your church so logistically people use the altar rails you can use the water and the wine to do the ablution of the of the chalice after holy communion there's so much flexibility in the new missal that actually the new mass can be as dignified as beautiful in my opinion as the old and so it doesn't pain me i like i prefer saying the old mass i won't lie to you i prefer saying the old mass but i don't dislike the new mass and i'm happy i'm resigned to offer the new mass knowing that actually the old mass for all its beauty and dignity there are barriers to entry for it. You'll know as well as I do, any of you that didn't go up, grow up attending the old mass all the time, that 
if you attend the old mass the first time, for many people it's not immediate, oh, I'm in love with this, this is amazing. It takes effort to appreciate the old mass. And for some people that just turn up, they're not willing to make that effort and they just simply never come back to the church again when they see that the priest is offering this thing in another language. And so when you're saying the new mass, in a very dignified, reverent way, there's not that same barrier to entry. And my hope would be to lead people to have an appreciation of the old mass. Because in my view, one of the drawbacks of the vocal participative element of the new mass is that it kind of has a tendency towards keeping people in the first and second mansions of the interior life. Because the whole of the liturgy, you're so exteriorly participating you're you're in some way inhibited from advancing more deeply in the interior castle going into the third fourth fifth sixth seventh mansions of the interior life which i think that arguably the old mass is more ordered towards so whilst there's a barrier of entry for the old mass and the new mass doesn't have the same barrier of entry the old mass i think has got a an ability to allow people to go deeper spiritually that the new mass doesn't so easily afford. But the new mass, I believe, and I think can be offered with dignity and devotion. And that's, that's I knew that that was part of the deal, becoming a Darson priest. You get to reach out to much more people through the Darson structures. You get to hear so many more confessions. You get to see so many more children in schools. You get to meet so many more families to preach to larger congregations. And ultimately, autobiographically, it's where God found me through Darson priests in Darson structures. And so for that reason, I never joined a traditional order. And that's why I'm very happy being a priest in a Darson structure. May Almighty God bless you. Please pray for me and for all priests. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.